Let's see how this goes this morning. Let's see if it was a good idea for me to come on here when I'm grouchy or not. Only one way to find out. Everybody just waiting for people to come in here. Not sure what time it is in the mainland right now, but it's still fairly early here. Yeah, it's not even nine. I'm guessing it's what eleven over there in the west coast, right? Is that right? No, it's like eleven thirty or something in the west coast, mm, or no. ten thirty in no, California. No, no, no. Like three hours. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna roll one up real quick, and we're gonna fucking do some ranting this morning. Hopefully, you guys are in the mood. Uh, I just woke up a little bit ago, and it's already hot as a bitch. I shouldn't even say that. I'm in Hawaii. It's fucking only gets to like 80, 90 degrees out here, but it's a warm morning, and I'm getting in my coffee and my morning blunt, like I always do. And I just want to jump on here and do some ranting about some shit. Because it's time for people to wake the fuck up. Um, I woke up this morning just over the bullshit. I'm tired of being overly nice and kind of letting it out slow for people. Trying to ease people into the shit. We're just going to start fucking doing it. And my other channel is ready now. The Roots of Blood Leaves of Light is ready. So I am going to start doing these live streams over there daily here very soon. Um, I'm just trying to work a few things out, and then it's on. And uh, you guys are going to see a slight change in my demeanor sometimes, because I'm very irritable lately over this shit. But it's time to start waking up. We're going to talk about some things today that have to do with just what I believe to be common sense. Shit that fucking anybody should know, alright? Things that they should be teaching in school, things that we should know about life period all right we all live here we should know about the places we live we should know about our history we should know about the things around us and how the world works and we're going to start getting into that shit this is going to be a little bit of a rant because i woke up in a fucking kind of a bad mood I need a blunt i haven't smoked yet so we're going to hurry and roll this up and then uh i'm going to kind of lay into it a little bit all right and this may this I will admit this is this is inspired by my current emotional state, which is just fucking fed up with shit. So um, I'm I'm gonna apologize in advance for not just dropping nothing but history and facts, but there might be a little opinion dosed in with this shit today. So my apologies, but we're gonna start pushing, bro, because it's time to fucking blow up. And I don't give a fuck about the money, as you see, I'm living in a fucking tent. Oh yeah, I'm still in Hawaii, Grizzly. I'm in Hawaii right now, fucking in my tent right now, living in my tent, right? This is this is it. We live in a Costco carport. And uh, remember when I say this shit, because I don't want this to start on the wrong fucking foot. When I tell you guys I live in a fucking tent, I'm not telling you that to make you feel bad for me. I chose to live in a tent. I'm fucking, that's the whole point I'm trying to make to everybody. We gotta stop chasing material shit all the fucking time. It's okay if we get material shit. It's okay if we wind up with some money and doing good and shit but that should not be our fucking focus right with or without money you should still be doing the same fucking thing you see what i'm saying and that's what we're gonna get into today you can tell i got energy right now because i'm a little heated i'm trying to keep it down I got other neighbors out here living in tents and shit too i'm sure you don't want to hear me ranting all more but i'm fucking in a mood bro you got to look around you open your fucking eyes look around you look around the fucking world what's going on do you even know what's going on are you paying attention? You know what I mean? And when I when I get on this, you know what I'm saying? I'm not chewing you guys out. I'm not like, I'm not yelling at you. I'm not getting mad at you. I'm just mad in general. I'm frustrated in general, okay? Uh, I need people to wake the fuck up, all right? Something very simple, all right? Let's talk about something very simple, okay? Before we get into all the, the fucking taboo topics and all that bullshit, most of you motherfuckers watching me live right here in the United States of America, yet... I bet most of you don't know shit about the United States of America. That's a problem, right? Now, I'm not saying that to make you feel bad. I'm saying it because this is it's time to start knowing. It's time to start paying attention to shit, right? Uh, we spend all day doing stupid shit. Niggas is on the fucking internet 
chasing fucking clothing lines and bitches and fake fucking every everything's fake, bro. Fake asses, fake titties, fake fucking lips, fake fucking attitudes, fake fucking sets, fake fucking everything, bro. Everything's fucking fake. I'm here for some real shit. I'm tired of the fucking fake shit. You know how sick I am of seeing fucking women clapping cheeks on the fucking internet? No, this isn't to suppress women or oppress women. I am sick of it, bro. Where is the fucking pride, man? And, and and this is what we're calling women empowerment. You fucking see these idiots on here fucking smoking weed on the internet trying to look cool for smoking weed. Since when did smoking weed make somebody fucking cool? It's just ganja, bro. Niggas, we smoke this shit because we need it. Not because we want to look cool. We we trying to monetize it, bro. And I'm guilty. I did the same shit. Why do you think my shit's called Ganja Josh? Because I was trying to monetize getting high, right? It backfired. It didn't fucking work. They shut me down. Why? Because they don't want you to do that shit. Why? Right? Everybody, can you have him shut the fuck up? Why? Why the fuck do we do things without knowing why we're doing them? Because emotions. Our emotions are controlling us. Well, your emotions are controlled by your thoughts. And if your thoughts are fucking stupid, well, you're going to have stupid fucking emotions and you're going to have a stupid fucking result because of that, right? It's just how it goes. Let me get this blunt rolled up and I'm going to fucking break this down, all right? Because you guys can see I'm fucking heated today. Let me see. I saw a comment pop up, I think. Uh, excellent. Glad you're doing well, my friend. I'm a minimalist myself, so I can relate to your perspective, buddy. We as a species have forgotten our role in grand scheme of things. Well, we're going to get into that a little bit, right? And this is probably going to piss some people off today. I ain't going to lie. I'm not holding my tongue. I'm not here to cater to nobody's fucking feelings and shit. So I, I'm just going to brace. I'm going to warn everybody. Just brace yourself. I might piss you off today. All right? And it just is what it is. All right? I'm going to speak a whole lot of harsh truth. And people are just going to have to fucking deal with it. All right? Because I don't give a fuck. Bro, I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck. So, here we go. I'm almost done with my blunt. I'm sorry. I should have rolled this before I started, but... I don't know. You guys watch Bernie Mac? So, Bernie Mac's like my fucking favorite stand-up comedian of all time. I sat up last night and watched some of his shit again. Because I was in a stand-up BET type mood. It reminded me, very quickly, of how fucking soft everyone has gotten. Bernie Mac will get cancelled today. That nigga could not even go on TV and say half the shit that he used to say. Alright? He would get cancelled. In a heartbeat. And that would have to do with politics, right? But can we get past the politics and look at the bigger picture? The fuck even is politics? I got... Everybody follows me, damn near, does one of three things. They usually vote Democratic, Republican, or don't vote at all, right? I don't vote. I don't fucking play with politics. It's retarded. I'm going to explain exactly why here in a minute. It's time for us to wake up. This is going to draw um, a line in the sand that's going to make people uncomfortable. All right? It's going to do it. I'm just warning you right now. There is going to be people that get uncomfortable. I have a lot. The majority of people that follow me are Caucasian folks. Which means that what I'm about to do is going to risk... Me losing the majority of my followers. I've been doing it on my other platforms, but we're about to go in on him. I've lost so many friends over the last fucking couple of years, it's ridiculous. Well, so-called friends. People who call, them, call themselves my friends. Uh, and that's because I've been outspoken. I've been very outspoken lately about history. And about just life in general. And people don't like it. And it's revealing that there's still a desire for specific types of people to be silent to shut the fuck up i'm not shutting the fuck up we're gonna talk about everything we're gonna talk about fucking all the things that cause problems in the fucking world the the main things that cause problems in the world are the things nobody wants to fucking talking about nobody wants to talk about politics religion or race those are the uncomfortable things politics religion and race i know you guys are hovering over the button talking about fuck i don't want to get into this shit right now Maybe I should just go watch some fucking race cars, or maybe I should go watch some fucking goofballs smoking weed, act, acting stupid, falling off their chairs and shit. You know what I mean? There's entertainment all over the fucking internet. 
Stop seeking the entertainment and start seeking some fucking wisdom. That's what the fuck I'm irritated about. People are so fucking obsessed with chasing that dopamine fits, getting that fucking, that next exciting fucking moment in their life that they don't give a shit about what life actually is. It's just experience, experience, experience. Let's fucking feel, feel, feel. You know, emotion, emotion, emotion. Me, 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 me. Right? Nobody gives a fuck what's going on around them. You are a part of this world. Care more about what's going on in it than yourself. Think about that. Here's an example. All right? God, I don't want to hear it. My fucking neighbor, it drives me fucking nuts. All right. Look. All you guys... All right, lunch ready. I'm sorry it took me a while. All you guys live in the United States, I'm guessing, right? We call it the United States. Everybody knows about colonization, but we don't really know. We just kind of chalk it up as like, it's a thing that happened, and now we're all here, and let's just move forward. <coughs> yeah, thank you. Glad you guys like that. You see that? I still roll heaters, bro. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. So... I'm going to apologize in advance because you guys probably hear my fucking neighbors over here. She's probably going to whoop her kid's ass in a minute because she does so every fucking morning down there. Um, we all live in tents up here on the fucking mountainside in this off-grid community. And you can hear people shitting down the block. So it's not fucking... There's no privacy out here. Alright, so here we go. Everybody lives in the United States. We'll use Oregon. Someone mentioned Oregon. Let me pull that back up. Uh, I care a lot about the world. I'm awake sometimes painfully so. Alright. Mary, um, Mary Sprout. That's good. We're going to test that here in a minute. So, you know, uh, yep. Oregon Grizzly says he lives in Oregon. All right. So we're going to use Oregon as an example. Okay. What was Oregon before it was Oregon? Anybody know? What time is it? It is 8.50. What was Oregon before it was Oregon? Most people don't know. I got comments on here. The land of my ancestors. That's good. Who were your ancestors? Let's, let's just. I'm just gonna ask questions, and we're just gonna walk down this road, okay? And you guys answer as quick as you can in the comments, and don't worry. I'm not here to be a dick to you guys, but I might be a dick, but not like because I'm mean to you or I'm mad at you or anything, but because I just don't give a fuck how people feel right now. I care about just saying the truth, right? So. Don't answer if you don't want me getting on your head, because I might get on your head a little bit. But it's out of love. That's the point. There's that tough love we're about to do. All right, so. Oregon was the land of who? Who were the ancestors that lived there, all right? Who were the people that lived there? Let's share my wife is over here. Well, the majority of Oregon, because I don't, I don't think I'm going to get comments on this. majority of Oregon was actually ran by the Iroquois. Okay. Uh, the, uh, oh, shit. <sighs> Fucking, if you guys are familiar with Madras area, Warm Springs, right? I'm going to turn on my hotspot real quick so I can multitask here. Sorry for you guys. If you guys are familiar with Madras area, right, you're familiar that there is, uh, uh, union of or um a confederacy there right a confederacy of uh tribal mm -hmm. nations right mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. new pierce i know you meant nez pierce mm -hmm. i know what you're saying mm -hmm. so tillamook of the <laughs> tribes originated there all right so now let's talk about that right you mentioned the nez pierce that's a great example right so who well, that wasn't his real name um at all hold on sorry multitasking Damn, this thing will not stop fucking buzzing. Uh, that wasn't his real name at all. Right? Uh, neither was Nez Pierce the real name of the fucking tribe. Right? So, Chief Joseph, right? Those are two English words, first off. Right? So, we can just go ahead and chalk that up as obviously not his real name <laughs> or title. And 
Uh, Nez Pierce isn't an Indian word either. That's French. Uh, that's a French phrase, right? And it means, uh, I think, newly pierced or something like that. It has to do with the piercings. The Nez Pierce Indians are known for their piercings. Chief Joseph's real name was him. Oh, fuck me. Uh, Henmutu uh, Yal Yalatlat. Right? I had to pull that up because I can never fucking say it right. Um, Hinmutu Yalat Yalatlat. Right? Yalatlat. Right? Now, there's something very important. Right? If you know fucking oral traditions and you study all these indigenous cultures like I do, you will see etymological connections in words right away. Right? So in his name, Hin Mu U or Hin Mu Ut uh, Utu, right? Uh, you break it down. It's always broke down in uh, syllables, right? The most important one in this one is Mu, M U, okay? Mu. That is a serpent root, okay? That fucking Mu has a serpent root for the word, okay? And when you study these oral tribes, you'll find lots of serpent rooted words, right? So why is it, um, when you go to school, that we teach that this man's name is Chief Joseph, right? He's from Oregon. He actually lived in Wallawa. If you guys don't know, I used to live in Wallawa, right? Uh, by Enterprise, by um, not far from Wallawa Lake, right? It's Eastern Oregon, way Eastern Oregon. And uh, I knew all about him since I was a little kid, right? Well, at least I thought I did, because every, all the people around Oregon like to talk about Chief Joseph, right? And that's Pierce. And they'll also talk about the Iroquois. And the, uh, um, uh -huh. <coughs> I'm going to do some shit here so I make sure I don't get fucking names wrong because I've caught myself a few times lately saying shit wrong and I'm working on doing better at that. Um, so, whoop, boom, there we go. Let's pull these up. What is going on with this thing? Sorry, guys. My shit's moving slow as fuck. It's very interesting how that does that. So. Hold on. You're just, is that what's going on? Sorry, guys. I was wondering what's going on. My shit was going slow. Everything's fucking up. Um, it's because I have my hotspot on and everyone's mm -hmm. connecting to my Wi Fi all of a sudden. All right. So, um, what was I just fucking saying? Oh, yeah. I was going to talk about some of the tribes from Oregon. That's what the fuck it was. So, you have the Confederacy in Madras, right? My shit's still not working. I don't know what's going on. It's being really weird. Oh, well. I'm just going to go off the top. Uh, so most of the tribes in Oregon are connected down to, um, from Washington or from Canada, they go all the way down to like Utah, um, four corners region. Um, whoop, sorry. I didn't even see there was comments. Yeah. Whoops, they lived in this area for nearly 12,000 years and mostly peace. Aside from warring nations, they took their names, lands, crops, and animals and made them bend their knee and killed who didn't. Yeah, you're pretty much right. All right. For the most part. Um, except for there is more to it. All right. Quite a bit more to it. The Nez Pierce were part of a uh, family, right? Uh, we have what's called a confederacy nowadays. We call it a confederacy. And uh, the confederacy, when you say that word, most people think of the Union and the confederacy or the confederate army, right? But the confederate army actually stole that name from... Um, and the concept of the Confederacy from the Indians, actually. Um, the big one is figuring out who are these Indians, right? And what was going on in Oregon, right? So Oregon before was land of fucking indigenous people, right? But mainly the serpent tribes, right? It's why we uh, have the Snake River, right? It's because the tribes around the Snake River all identify with the serpent, right? Um, from the... Iroquois to the fucking... Jeez, why am I having such a hard time remembering all the names right now? The Coquille, the um, Siletz, the Klamath tribes, the fucking Paiute, and all these people, right? All of them. But here's the thing. 
the Talawa and whatever, but most of them were were branches of the Paiutes, all right? Um, most of them, all right, were branches off Paiute or mm -hmm. uh, Iroquois, all right? And if you trace all these back, you'll find <coughs> there's connections. And they all talk about the Great Flood, all right? And they all talk about the prophecies that are coming, right? Um, just like the Hopi do. The Hopi will tell you about the Blue Kachina, right? If you uh, go back far enough to tell you about the Great Flood and um, Noah and everything, right? Now, if you study all these other fucking places, you'll hear these same stories, right? Which means that there's a connection, okay? Now, when you go to Oregon now, people think of Oregon as Portland, basically. That's it. Portland, rain, Eugene hippies, and... Uh, been to Oregon, the ski town, <laughs> fucking retirement, fucking hipster town, right? That's what most people think of, right? Hipsters and Democrats and shit like that. Well, actually, the majority of people in Oregon um, are Republican, um, and they're just... The majority of Oregon is, is ran by Republicans. It's just that um, uh, Portland is a very condensed area with a big population, right? And so, yeah, it's in the Oregon Trail, which I'm going to get to that too. Point is, people walk all over Oregon, and they know that that was Indian land, right? And when the colonizers showed up there, and they um, finally, you know, classified Oregon as a state legally, right? They made it the first whites-only state in the entire, the one and only, actually, whites-only state in the entire nation. Which is fucked, right? Now, I'm not here to complain and be like, oh, boo-hoo. No, I, I'm pointing it out for a reason, okay? Because when I point these things out, I get a specific type of response. Most Caucasian folks that I deal with, okay, in debates or dialogues or just viewers on social media, YouTube, shit like that, do not like when I talk about colonization, all right? That's why you'll see the numbers of people watching go down when I start talking about this, right? But if I talk about something like love and acceptance, my numbers go up, right? So if I sit here and I say things like, I hope everyone's having a great day. You guys are amazing. I hope that everyone's coming together, you know, and uniting, right, uh, for the right reasons and da-da-da. All right, well, that's inspiring and motivational speech, right? And that builds people up. But I'm not here to just build people up. I'm here to help people think, right? And in order to think, you got to be tough. you got to have tough skin, right? You, you, you have to want knowledge over comfort, right, over your emotional fucking status okay you may be happy right now and then you're gonna learn a big chunk of truth and it's gonna make you feel like shit right so this is important the only thing people give a shit about right now when it comes to Oregon is the politics right and vacation and um you'll go there and there'll be fucking hippies out on the trails kicking over stacks of rocks and other hippies on the trails making stacks of rocks and they're fighting with each other over taking care of the land right um, and you'll see all these environmentalists trying to regulate, you know, the streams and the waters and all this shit, trying to take care of the land. And nobody's looking at the big picture. The land was just fine. It was perfectly fine. Until colonization happened. But nobody wants to talk about that. The Indians knew how to take care of the land. There was no pollution. There was an abundance of wildlife and livestock. Did you know that when the colonizers came here, they killed the buffalo population off? That's why they're endangered. They're endangered because people were hunting them for meat. And using them to win the wars. Because the Indians would ride on buffaloes while the colonizers rode on horses. And the buffaloes are way more effective than the horses. So they would lose. The colonizers would lose because of these buffaloes. So they went out and they started slaughtering the buffaloes. Just slaughtering them by the thousands. Not to eat the meat. Not to take the hides. Not to utilize the fucking antlers or the horns. But just to defeat the indigenous people of the land. So that they could industrialize this land and profit from it. Now, when I talk about this stuff, people think that, I'm, oh, he hates white people. No. It's just that white people did this. 
And so we can either ignore it or we can talk about it. Now, I have a lot of white friends that are down to talk about it. And they talk about it with me all the time for two reasons. One, because they actually care, right? And two, because they didn't know everything that happened. And they started realizing, damn, there's more to this story than what I was taught. Now I want to know more. All right? We have a ruling government that dictates everything we do, whether we believe so or not. We can we have power of choice, but only within the box that they give us that's called law. Okay? <laughs> Go out and try to collect your own rainwater in Oregon. Let the feds find out. You were collecting rainwater. Let's see what happens. Go plant a food crop on BLM land and watch what happens. Go hunt a fucking deer without a fucking license and let them fucking feds find out and see what happens. They will get your motherfucking ass. You ain't free. You are not free. All you niggas out here think you're fucking free. All you white folks think you're free too, but you're not. You're not fucking free. You are imprisoned. By a governing system that is ran by people that you don't even know about. You don't even care to know. You vote in their fucking system. Not realizing that that was the whole point. Is to keep you voting in the system. They don't give a shit which one you vote for. They don't care. You guys realize that every single president is fucking related, right? Everyone. Okay? You think there isn't fucking... Strings attached to these candidates? You think your votes are what's doing this? You think them ballot machines are what's fucking making it happen? Not a near one of these motherfuckers want to save your ass. They don't even care to know your name. They're not going to do shit for you. You want to know how shit got done in the old days? People united and got shit done. That's how. But you can't unite if nobody knows the truth. Because uniting means you have to unite in truth. Otherwise, that unity is short-lived. Because the truth will eventually come out and it's going to break the unity. And here comes the division again. I got to roll another blunt. So let's face the truth. Let's talk about the truth. The uncomfortable, hard truth. Okay? Colonization. Racial identities, okay, and religious organizations. Let's talk about those three things. First off, race, the most uncomfortable one of all. That word is fucking new. Didn't even exist when America started, or the United States started. Sorry, I, I hate to call it America because I'm referring to the United States. I'm not referring to the continent of America. The continent of America was already inhabited, colonized, fucking populated cities everywhere race is a new construct okay now that doesn't mean that the differences between ethnicities is new it means that the concept the word and the concept around the word race is new it's based off of colorisms okay skin tone here that thing's hard as fuck to hit i gotta roll a new one I'm going to roll another blunt, you guys. So, before the word race came into the picture, what word did we use to identify our ethnicity, right? We used nationality, our nation, if you want to use the English word for it. It would have been nationality, okay? So, what is your nationality? Well, today, we got all fucked up because everybody that lives in the United States thinks that their nationality is American. That's not true. Nowhere on the fucking Census Bureau are any of you listed as an American citizen. Not one of you. You are listed as a citizen of the United States, which is within the Americas. You are not an American. Neither am I. The only real Americans here are those who are indigenous to America. That's a hard pill to swallow because most of us are patriotic and love our flag and land of the free, home of the brave. All right? 
But let's be fucking real here. When that fucking phrase came out, I ended the free home of the brave, there were millions of slaves here. Millions. Including the indigenous. Okay? That flag was raised on soil that was stolen and soaked with the blood of its natural inhabitants. They removed the third and fourth verse from the fucking national anthem for a reason. Because it literally brags about enslaving and killing those slaves. Okay? This is the hard truth that we don't want to talk about. I got a homie, really good homie. Uh, turn me on to psychedelics. Actually fucking, well not on to psychedelics, but turn me on to DMT. He uh, unfriended me recently because I posted a picture of a flag burner. He's a military vet. Well, I love this motherfucker to death. But that don't change the fact that that flag was funded and designed by the fucking KKK, bro. That's not a fucking lie. And the wives of the KKK delivered that to the fucking White House. Go look the shit up yourself. Um, where is the... Oh, there it is. Now, this isn't just about me picking on white folks. That's not why I'm doing this. Why I'm doing this is because so many people, white folks and black folks and fucking Hispanic folks included, all kinds of people, colonized and colonizer, do not talk about this. Yet we all want to fucking get along somehow, right? Well, at the end of the day, no matter how you look at it, something really bad happened in our past, and it led us to the position we're in now. And it has not been dealt with. And that leaves room for animosity, for anger, for frustration. Okay? Now, how can you fix it if you don't even know what the fuck happened? That's why we need to talk about it. Because we got to know what the fuck happened. All right? This was created to take away from us talking about it. We come from nations. Black people aren't fucking black. That's black. Well, not that. That's green. You see, that's black, right? I'm not black, bro. I'm brown. You find the fucking blackest nigga out here, bro. He's not black. He's brown. You Caucasian folks ain't white, neither. You're actually more red. It's true. Pull up something white and put it next to your fucking skin. I bet you it ain't the same color. Just like when I pull up something black, put it next to my skin, it ain't the same fucking color. But people want to call me black. Now, that's not just what people call me, right? That is something I have to, or I'm supposed to mark on, on medical paperwork and fucking government paperwork and shit like that. They want to know, since the Bureau want to know, do I think I'm fucking black? Well, no, I don't. I don't think I'm a fucking color. That's not my nationality. That's not my ethnicity. So what is it then? African American? Because that's what the Census Bureau labels us as. African Americans. Used to be people of color, or I mean, uh, Negro and mulatto, because I'm mixed. I would have been mulatto, right? Uh, fucking, uh, um, I'm none of that shit, man. Not a Negro, a Negroid? What the fuck is a Negroid? I'm not a Negroid, bro. The fuck is that? Nationality. We all descend from somewhere. When they went and fucking picked black people up off the fucking west coast of Africa, we weren't calling ourselves Negroes, black, or fucking Africans. That was not something we called ourselves. So what do we call ourselves? The group of people that was taken from Africa. What do we call ourselves? Well, we call ourselves Judeans. Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Judah were the people that were captured and brought over here. What do Mexicans call themselves? The Mexicans weren't called Mexicans. They never called themselves Mexican. What do Indians call themselves? Because they don't like them. They're not a nair, not a one of them. They called themselves an Indian before they met a white man. I never read a story about that. I never read an ancient artifact fucking... Uh, found any 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 evidence whatsoever that an Indian called himself an Indian before he met the white man. 
What about Hawaiians, right? Polynesians, right? What do they call themselves? You guys know? Right? What about Alaskans, Eskimos, right? People take all of South America and just call everyone that comes from there a South American. There's a shit ton of countries in South America. You see what I'm saying? Let me read a couple of these comments. Sorry, guys. I'm almost done rolling this blunt. Telling the Caucasian, you're right. People don't want to hear it. Out of sight, out of mind. That's right, bro. That's what. That's the facts. A major root of a lot of issues is the fact that our government is extremely selective, as yo, what schools teach and don't teach. Uh, that's the thing, right? It's not just the government. I'm gonna tell you about that too. We're gonna go into that. Kids grow up being taught nonsense or one-sided stories, and then pass that on. And nobody has a clue as to our community or what our own history is. And says we were just people. What's up, bro? What's up? Right, and we 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 were just people, but we were people with national identities, right? And our nations were derived from bloodlines, right? We had bloodlines, and those bloodlines used to be tracked, fucking religiously, bro. They used to be documented very very well. And all the indigenous people of the world used a very specific formula for their names, right? Their names had meanings and the words reflected those meanings right which is where uh uh the growth of of um sorry hold on a second i'm trying to get this just right I'm about to do my magic here the uh oops. when you when you enunciate a word right you have syllables right you have a prefix, a suffix, and a root, right? Well, the root is called the root for a reason because the rest of the word grew from that root, right? From that original word. Etymology is kind of like a timeline. You can track this timeline by watching the growth of the word, right? As it evolves and grows over time, right? Words grow, especially grows from the root. And so, for instance, of moo, we're called the moo. Right, or I'm sorry, the um uh Nawa'o and then or Nawa'o and then came the Mu, right? But then from the Mu came the Na Mu and the Nawa, right? So now you take the, the Mu and you add the Na Mu, right? And then you take the Na and you add the Wa, Nawa, right? So there's a growth, right? Like a family tree spreading out, right? Hey, what's up? What's up, Rudy? And then uh From that comes the kai na mu and the kai na wa, right? Now you add a kai to the na wu and the na wa, or the na mu and the na wa, right? And then on down the line, right? And this is how etymology grows. It turns into like a sliding scale, like a, like a, you know, it's like tracking fucking growth rings on a tree, right? How much time you got? What? You work at 10? Okay. All right, I only got a little bit longer, guys, so i to take the wife to work. Here we go. Let's finish this coffee, get this blunt going. So here's the deal. When you track this etymology, you start to see how things spread, how things grow, right? And you can track a lot of these tribes and connect them to each other, right? Which is how I was able to figure out who a lot of the 12 tribes were and shit. Well, race was never a part of that. It was ethnic nationality. Um, our colors would change depending on which women we would marry. Did we marry women within our nation or outside of our nation? Well, most of us married within our nation, which is why most indigenous tribes tend to, um, back in the day, all look so similar, right? They didn't, there wasn't a wide variety in their ethnicities, right? Uh, instead, they were all very similar, right? And the only thing that would change would be genetic makeup, basically, here and there. And so, a variety of genetic makeup. Okay? But not from breeding outside of their nations. It wasn't until colonization uh, happened that there was forced breeding outside of the nations. And it became um, widespread, so to speak. Right? There was the rare occasions or whatever. Right? Love happens. But uh, most of the time, it was... Um, kept within the nation. Once colonization happened, it became widespread. And it just didn't just become widespread. It became uh, 
required by law that if a colonial man um, wanted a indigenous woman that she had to marry him and be his wife, whether he had one already or not, uh, which, you know, we were fine with polygamy. We were, all, we were actually all polygamists before um, colonization for the most part. But the uh, problem was that it was forced, right? Even if the woman was already married with the family, um, the colonizers would force her uh, to marry this colonial man, take his identity and bear his children. And he would rarely, if ever, um, take care of that woman and those children. Uh, they'd be left with the other family, usually, with the other man. And um, if anything happened to them, well, then they were all subject to punishment, right? And so they had to raise colonial babies that were forced on them through rape and forced marriages, which is really fucked up. Got another heater. Um, <coughs> believe it or not, slaves are still very real and definitely still exist, especially... Absolutely. Uh, slavery never ended. It was never even abolished. There um, are still people to this day that are slaves and don't even know that slavery has ended. Um, they find them all the time. Aside from that, slavery didn't actually end. It's never abolished. You will never... Slavery was transferred. Transferred. Right? They abolished chattel slavery in replacement... Right? And Abraham Lincoln did not have any good intentions for black folks. Uh, off topic, I know, but hemp or tobacco blunt skins using organic hemp. At the moment, the flavor is a bit overpowering. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm a tobacco guy. Uh, ancestors, ancient Mayans and shit, uh, rolled up blunts. You can actually see depictions of it um, from ancient times. They have it in the artwork. I think it's in the Popol Vuh even. <coughs> I got weed in my throat. And so... Is there any more coffee? No? Just one. Um, so yeah, tobacco. So there's something very unique about tobacco and weed together, man. I really, I really like it. But so anyway, the point I'm making is that race was never a thing. We had ethnic nationalities, right? And those nationalities were determined by our bloodlines, usually patriarchal pedigrees, right? Which is the father's side, right? That was done for a reason. In science, um, it's the same thing, right? The the seed carries carries the bloodline right the womb gives uh uh nutrients nurturing right it nurtures that seed right and allows it to grow um you can take an apple seed and you can plant it here in hawaii and i'm just gonna grow a fucking apple take that same apple apple seed and you go plant it in fucking china it's gonna grow an apple tree right same thing but it might be slightly different due to the soil that you place it in right um but without that soil it's not gonna grow shit Right, and so there's a union that must happen, right? A balance, uh, an exchange of energy. So we are our father's seed, which is why we would track our pedigrees by the house of the father, right? Now, this is also done in the Bible as well. Second thing I want to talk about, because uh, nationality wise, right? And I'm just bringing that up so you guys will go look, right? A lot of you guys will call yourselves American or Mexican or black or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And these are all colonial titles given to us, labels given to us to um, put us at a position on the Census Bureau, right? As a hierarchical status through the Census Bureau, okay? Um, no, but no people of color are ever made into the United States uh, citizens. Learn that just by studying the why they call them races and relabeled them when they did colonizing. So, anyways, the next one's religion, right? Why is religion so powerful? All right, well, because it's all rooted in ancient knowledge, right? And that ancient knowledge has been fucking washed down so much that most people just think of it as mythology these days, right? It's just myths, just fantasies, right? Uh, ancient humans trying to explain things because they didn't know how to. Well, if you ever actually read these ancient texts, like thoroughly read them, you will quickly learn that they weren't stupid and they weren't trying or making attempts to explain something. They encoded everything and we're too stupid to realize that it's fucking encoded, most people. <coughs> and so we read shit and we don't know what the fuck they're talking about. A big part of that has to do with the transliteration of these ancient literatures that were used for religious doctrine, right? The transliteration changes everything. Blunt's going, baby. 
uh, you can, you know, look at the Bible and it says the word God, right? And you look in the fucking Hebrew version, it says Elohim, right? Well, God is a singular word and Elohim is plural. So that right there is a quick one for you to look at and just figure out, okay, there's more going on. So if you start studying the Hebrew and then you go back and you read the English, you'll see there's two completely different things being said. So what most people think the Bible says is not what it says in its original format, right? The same thing goes for any ancient religious text or sacred text that's been converted to a religion and transliterated into a modern language, a modern colonial language. So this is important to know. The other one uh, is why is there a separation of church and state and not a separation of religion and state? You see what I'm saying? Everyone uh, connects the church to the religion, right? But you got to look at the word church. Church derives from the ancient Hebrew, right? And in Hebrew, it literally just means a fucking uh, a gathering of Israelites or a gathering of people, right? It's it. It's just, just two or more people gathered together, all right? Actually protect you guys from anything <laughs> from the church at all or religion, um, which is why... Their symbolism is all over your money, right? And it's why uh, the same people that are responsible for giving you currency at all that you use as currency, right? Monetary um, um, coins, you know, dollars, shit like that. Um, it's, it's created by the Rothschild Company, okay? Or the Rothschild family, right? Now, everyone hears about the Rothschild, but very few people know who they are. Or actually go and look into them and learn about them, right? But they are Ashkenazis, right? They claim to be Jews, and they're responsible for the Balfour Declaration, which put the so-called Jews back in Israel in 1943. 40, yeah, 43, I think. And um, the United States government has been focused on that ever since, right? Why do you think the United States government would even give a shit? Well, because all the money that we use in the United States comes from the Rothschild family, right? And Lord Rothschild is the one that did the <coughs> declaration deal with the British Empire. And so everything's tied together. Why is it all tied together? Well, the Rothschilds also funded the Civil War, right? And not only did they fund the Civil War, they were on the side of the South. And they uh, worked together with Great Britain and... Um, Basically, from what I can gather, we're behind the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, right? And uh, also, Abraham Lincoln's, um, uh, it was his vice president uh, that actually assassinated the treasurer, right? And did the deals with Great Britain to get funding for the war, right? And so, there's some crazy shit behind this that they don't teach in school, right? And people should know this stuff. People should talk about this stuff because... Well, it determines our entire reality right now. You pay taxes to those people. And the money you use to pay taxes is Rothschild currency. And you can't do shit without it. I know, because that's what I'm out here doing. I'm trying to survive and uh, find a way to um, get back to my ancient ancestors' ways without um, being a slave to the Rothschild currency and the United States government. That's hard to do. Even when I get completely free of their shit, for the most part, I still got to pay taxes on my property and stuff. And I got to pay uh, insurance on cars um, if I want to drive. You know, if I ride a donkey, then I'm going to have to fucking get some sort of permit probably or some shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no getting around it. They're going to try to get money out of you. And the reason they try to get money out of you isn't because they need the money, but because they need you to need the money. If you don't need the money, you don't need them. That's a problem. So what's stopping us from getting back to that, right? What's stopping us, right? Fucking stupidity. Pure ignorance. The fact that most of us don't even know that that's what's going on, right? And those of us that actually do know, very few of us care to fucking stand up to it and do something. How are we ever going to find peace if we don't make the fucking past right and we don't break away from those 
that are responsible for fucking putting us through that shit, all right? Whether you want to believe in religions or the Bible or whatever or not, that's what's ruling your life right now. Because the Rothschilds, right, who run this fucking country, basically, and everyone they fuck with, right, they absolutely believe in it. And they believe in it so much, they're fucking battling against it. You know why? Because they are the fucking goddamn devil that the fucking Bible talks of. Straight up. And you would know that if you read the fucking Bible. Those who say they're Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They do the fucking evil bidding of this world. And anyone that, anyone that fucking supports them is helping them do the evil bidding in this world. So, as much as you love your nice car, and you love your nice home, and your fucking convenience of a flushing toilet, and garbage companies coming to pick up your fucking trash from all the bullshit Chinese fucking garbage you're spending your Rothschild currency on, and the fucking GMO food you're feeding your fucking children, and boxes and plastic packages in these fucking stores. Yeah. You gotta give all that up. I bet you won't do it. I bet you won't do it. Maybe one in every fucking 200, 300,000 is probably going to fucking do this. Which is why the Hebrews prophesied that in the end there would only be 144,000 that make it. And they're telling the fucking truth. And so this isn't a feel-good thing. The Bible's not about loving everybody and this dude, white dude named Jesus came and died on the cross for everybody's sins. That's not what the fuck it says. Not at all. It's about a royal bloodline descended from the Anuna, the Anunnaki, a.k.a. the Elohim, right? And all religion comes from that, right? And there's a battle between two nations, the nation of Israel and the nation of Edom, okay? And Edom is the eagle. Follow the eagle symbology, you're going to find Edom. Everywhere you find that fucking eagle, you're going to find Edom. And his power, ruling over an Israelite nation. Mexicans were not Mexicans. They were Israelites from the tribe of Issachar. African Americans sent on slave ships to America to be slaves were not fucking African Americans, nor were they blacks or Negroes or Negroids. They were fucking... Judeans, Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Polynesians aren't Polynesian Americans. They are fucking Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Naphtali, right? All people don't come from Africa. All people come from Mu, Hawaiki. The Hawaiians teach you all about it in their ancient oral traditions. All Polynesians will teach you all about it. So-called Polynesians, right? Then, after the flood, we wound up in Africa. But before the flood, we were all over this planet. Which is why there's evidence of the fucking Indians here in the Americas over 12,000 years ago. There's evidence back to like 50,000 fucking years ago. And then when the floods happen, everything gets fucked up. When the cataclysms happen, everything gets fucked up. It's not God saying, hey, let there be a fucking flood, right? God is everything. God is the movement of the universe itself. And it's the movement of the universe that causes the fucking cataclysms. The movement of the planets, frequency, vibration, right? Everything is moving in a pattern. All planets, all things are moving in a pattern. Those patterns oscillate in cycles. It's called a frequency. Frequencies can be measured, right? These oscillations are measured. In doing so, you can see what happened in the past and what will happen again in the future. And you can somewhat predict a roundabout time we're gonna when that's probably gonna happen right there's no fucking stopping it it's just gonna happen right and so when you hear about the bible it's not some christian church document like everyone fucking thinks it is it's not religion okay it's the history of the hebrew israelites who descended from yahweh aka inky okay aka Ea. all right just know that there's a lot more to it and the enemies of those Israelites are the Edomites, right? Those who exalt themselves as the eagle, right? Those who come from the caves of the Caucasus Mountains. Those who would put their nest amongst the stars, right? Those who would fucking 
enslave the Judeans and the fucking Israelites for 400 years. Take them across the ocean on slave ships. Right? Steal their identities. Yada, yada, yada. Eventually call themselves Jews, even though they weren't. Those guys. Right? Now that is an uncomfortable thing that we got to deal with. Because that's real history. And it's actually in the Bible. That fucks people up. They don't want to believe it. Straight denial. Right? But it's there. It's there. It's all there. You can go read about it yourself. Right? Um, so religion is not separate from state. Church is. Right? And that has to do with taxing the church as a building, as a, a uh, uh, company, right? As, as a, um, a fucking, what do they call it? A, uh, uh, non-profit organization, basically, right? Doesn't have to do with their influence over the government. Government is religion. Just Republican and Democratic, but it doesn't matter because they all operate on one specific fucking uh, format, right? And all of them are ran by the same fucking people. I don't care what you say, right? The same people that fucking been running this shit are on these things, right? And the way you know is by knowing that they're all fucking related. It's not that hard to look into it and find out. These motherfuckers are related. Well, I'm going to turn live chat on just so I'm not missing anything. There we go. And so, <laughs> none of them want to give back what was stolen. They just want to make the best out of what was stolen. That's not fixing anything. None of them want to make the oppression Right, right. None of them want to um, pay out black folks for the fucking crazy amount of, of riches that they made for this country, for this government. And uh, nobody wants to discuss the hundreds of years of black oppression. Kept us from getting generational wealth and allowed. Caucasian folks to get generational wealth. And we want to talk about that. They call it pulling the black card. Man. Pulling some card. Um, niggas was victims, bro. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Um, I know all about it. I come from a white family, too. I was raised by my white side, so I know all about generational wealth. You see what I'm saying? I know all about it. I've seen it. I come from a white community. I've seen tons of it. You don't have that in any black community. There's no such thing. <laughs> it does not exist. The only fucking rich black people you'll hear about or wealthy black people you'll hear about are usually famous people. And they get that wealth because they're publicly entertaining. And if they didn't get that wealth, well, it would look a little sus, right? got black people up here shucking and jiving for you you know for pennies that's going to be a problem all right so they pay them good all your top stand-up comedians and athletes and fucking whatever right black folk but we don't get the power the money doesn't give you the power like everyone thinks the knowledge gives you the fucking power and we don't have no knowledge we can get some money but we can't get no fucking knowledge apparently right everyone thinks reparations is is the way out and no it's not because reparations isn't taken seriously, right? If it was taken seriously, maybe. Reparations means to repair, right? So how do you repair the history of slavery? How do you repair um, the invasion and and uh, uh, occupation, continued occupation of stolen land, right? How do you how do you repair that, right? Well, there's only one way, right? You fucking it's restitution and restoration, right? You give the fucking land back, all right, and you pay for the damages. You take the people you took out of their land, you take them back, right, and you pay for the damages, okay? It's what happens in the fucking court of law. If I fucking get a little road rage, you know, or whatever, I pull up, just punch some motherfucker in his face and shatter his shit all up. 
I'm going to jail. Not only am I going to jail, I'm going to have to pay fines, right? I'm going to have to pay restitution. I'm going to have to pay for damages. <clears throat> I'm going to have to pay them fucking hospital bills. And if I don't, <coughs> they're going to take my shit away from me. By force. To cover the fucking expenses. Right? So then when you see a bunch of Indians, a bunch of black folks, a bunch of Mexicans, a bunch of Polynesians, whatever, rallying, talking about we want our shit back, nobody's trying to hear it. If they're Caucasian, usually, just based off the fact that that means we're talking about giving all this shit back. Show me one motherfucking white dude out here that just wants to give back everything. All right? It's not going to happen. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to buy up as much land as I can so that I can literally give land back to these Hawaiians. Because I live in Hawaii, right? And I see more white people own land out here than Hawaiians. In fact, I see more homeless Hawaiians than I see anything. Hawaiians and Micronesians is what they like to call them. They're actually Marshallese folks. Shout out to all my Marshallese neighbors. Uh, I love them to death. They're all Israelites. And you know what? they all been subjected to the fucking oppression of the white man's colonization. You know what they did to the Marshallese? They bombed their whole fucking island up, bro. Destroyed that shit. And it was in a toll. And they set a bunch of ships out there and dropped a nuke on their fucking island, bro. It's uninhabitable. You can't live there. So now where they all live? Here. In fucking tents and shacks and shanties. All around fucking Hawaii. Where I live. <sighs> fucking 30 of them. All living together. Why? Because they can't afford this shit. Right? And they're trying to fucking make it, you know? They're not stupid, though. They're smart. They're going to buy all this land up. And so, now we got a problem, right? You took the whole Marshallese nation, fucked them out of their home, and then forced them into the Hawaiian Islands. So now you don't just have Hawaiians living here, right? You got Hawaiians and Marshallese living here, right? And now, what happened with fucking Tahiti? Colonized, right? Most people fucking taken in slave ships and fucking... Uh, taking the plantations and shipped all over the fucking place, right? Uh, same shit. Now they're scattered all over. Samoans, same shit. Fucking Fijians, same shit. There's more white people in these islands than there are islanders in these islands. That's the problem. Now, y'all can think that everyone's individual, but all of us colonized people are starting to see that we're all these people, right? Now, this is an uncomfortable topic, but politics is just the discussion we're going to manage all of this stuff. I don't fucking get it. And people think I'm the bad guy. How am I the bad guy for bringing this up? You know, in 1955, Hawaii became a state officially. It was stolen at gunpoint, bro. They admitted it. And they still won't give the shit back. Everybody comes out here for vacation. People are like, oh, well, you live in Hawaii. Yeah, you know what I do? I live in a tent like the Marshallese. That's what I did. So I was trying to get away from all the colonizers and the fucking mentality that comes with being around a bunch of colonizers. Doesn't mean I hate white people. It just means I can't live like that, bro. I want to live like my ancestors. I want to live like the people that were colonized before they were colonized. In harmony with the land, man. Fucking knowledgeable, the animals, the plants, the resources. How to use them correctly. Take what I need and leave everything else. Why can't I do that? Why do I get hated for that? Why do I get hated for fucking talking about what's really going on out here? Same for shit. I try to hit it so many times. We need to wake up. People are fucking stupid. I got a couple more minutes eventually. If people don't wake up. And the sad thing, they're going to wake up. And it's going to be a problem for those that colonized. And that's not like... It's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's not. It's just not. It's the result of a bad thing. And we got to see that for what it is. And so in order to avoid this shit, man, we got to do the unimaginable. We have got to stop supporting this fucking government. No, not right now. Somebody's trying to call me. I'll get him back in a second. We gotta stop doing that. The money is 
sports Rothschilds, fake Jews, okay? It, it funds wars, colonization, and slavery, okay? The theft of, of indigenous lands. Everybody needs to stop doing this shit. We all need to go back to where the fuck we came from and restart our interactions with each other as a nation. That's what the fuck we need to do. All right? And people that don't want to do that, we need to find somewhere where those people can all be together. All right? Indigenous people whose land was stolen, it is going to be a fucking problem. Nobody is going to be okay. Right around his neighborhood in front of him, right? By giving him, like, you know, a free apple once in a while, or I let him ride on the pegs and give him a ride to the bus stop. Is that making it right, or am I literally being a bigger dick? <laughs> Nobody here, I just Indian, what are really, okay? Has nothing to do with your own. It has to do with your bloodline pedigree from the patriarch side of your fucking family. Start figuring it out. Stop being stupid. Start waking up, right? All the streets you're driving on, look at the names of them. Where do you think they come from? Just look at the names of the streets you drive on. Names of the towns. You guys in Oregon? What's the name of Madras? Or where'd the name Madras come from? Go look it up. It's the most important thing happening in Oregon is that Confederacy. Because they're the only people that truly belong in fucking Oregon. And I'm serious. Right? Because if you don't, when shit hits fan, people aren't going to give a fuck about you. Right? No matter how much you fucking want to fight back or beg or plea or want peace and harmony and all that shit, um, it's not going to work, man. If you don't care, they won't care. You, your dharma is your karma. 